Hey everyone, good morning and welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender mm. Clothesline and Roger. <laughs> You're not gonna Lisa. say yeah. Roger's store is Leeson, <laughs> L-E-A-Z-I-N. That's a way to start a video. Uh, for those of you asking, <laughs> always know that you can find out all our information in the show's notes, which is right <laughs> below this video. All right, today is Thursday, and we are headed to, where are we going? Yeah, it's actually Elverson. I was going to say Morgantown, but it's Elverson, PA. It's a fairly new Goodwill within the last maybe year, year and a half. They switched... They used to be in Morgantown and they closed that store and they, um, they're they in a shopping center down in Elverson. It's a, it's, it's a pretty big store. Have we ever been, we've never been there? Yeah, we've, I've been there a few times. I haven't been there lately. Have I been there? Yeah, I, I think so. I don't know so. where I've been. Yeah, you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> and then down to Avondale. Oh, we're doing two. Yeah. All right, so. we're gonna bring you guys with us. So get yourself something to drink. We're going thrifting. All right, this is one of my favorite Goodwills. This one has an outlet center next door, which I don't usually find things here, but look at the piled up clothing. We probably will just take a peek in there, but this is Goodwill Montgomeryville. If you guys remember, I found the big painting. I'll insert a screenshot here. And what else? The balloon light. Both of those things have sold. Very good profit. And now we're gonna see what else we can find. All right. I am. Hello. What's, what's your first name? Paula. Paula. Thanks, Paula. Now oh, that was sweet. That was a nice way to start a shopping trip. Oh, look at that blue dress. Do we see that blue dress? All right, my husband takes off like a shot in this store because we love this store. So this is going to make the top 10. And yes, I'm compiling a list. I'll get to it. Look at this blue Who's making this? Boy, that's pretty. Hmm, eleven ninety nine. Size. Voimos, voyo, I vivimos. I don't know. That's pretty. All right, let's get serious. Let's get back to hard goods and see what we find. I'm gonna sneak this way. All right. So, what else have I gotten in this store? I'm trying to remember. We love a good big will. That is one of my best all time tips. If you are a reseller and you are looking for really good inventory, go to the biggest thrift store you can find. Now this one, we are traveling today probably four hours, two hours out and circling around in two hours back. That way we cover, we'll probably cover five or six stores today. All right, of course we're gonna hit the artwork and all of this goodness. Look at it all. Oh, they loved us so much that they donated their <laughs> thing. They should have taken their picture out. Okay. That might be home interiors, but that's pretty. That is not bad. What is this here? It's a watercolor. I almost think that's original. Mother and child. Could be a print. Oh, look at that. Merry Christmas. Love, Carol. Is that what that says? 1975. Very interesting. I wonder if that's hand done. Is this a Thomas Kincaid? Ephesians. Looks like a Thomas Kincaid. All right, we'll go back for it. This might be good for the booth. $9.99, but today is green tag, so we would get that for $5. I think that's item number one going in the cart. You know, this is a really good way to organize smaller art. The Goodwill Route 30 should be doing this. This is a tub and not put too much in. That way you can still flip through it. It does keep it safe. Is that a saint? I don't know any of the saints. She's lovely. I don't know that anybody would want her though. It's a picture of Jesus. I think that might be a memorial, like an in remembrance of. Oh, what do we have here? This is a vintage print. 
Looks like time has <laughs> discolored it. It's all pink and rosy. A bathtub with a fireplace. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it for artwork. Just scanning one more time. This is interesting, a little tempting. Again, here we are with that double matting. Usually it's green and burgundy. This one's blue, kind of pretty. All right, did I go through this one thoroughly enough? I think I did. Anytime you see artwork with a stretcher like this, this is probably the cheapest canvas artwork sold in like hobby stores and home goods stores, things like that. All right, just want to double back and make sure I'm not missing anything. I did pick up a few pieces of artwork at Hobby Lobby from my own house, and um, you know, for for the price that I paid, I'll show them to you guys. I think they're good. I haven't really hung too much artwork since we did the renovation because we've been so busy and my walls are white. So I was like, let me, oh, let's see what this is. Let me get some artwork. And I ran out last night and did that. So I'll show that to you guys. I'm trying to pull this mirror out without breaking it. Very heavy, but not especially wonderful so I'm gonna slide that back in oh I just shipped out little cups like this all right but for $2.99 each hmm okay so this four of them that would be $12 one of them is a little faded it almost looks like Blanco all right we'll wait on those what's the name of this flower like cyclamen or something like that Oh, it says it. Cyclamenin men. Cyclamen. Odagiri, Japan. Kind of nice. $4. Did somebody make this? Was this a project? Oh, came from Home Goods or that's TJ Maxx, I think, or Marshalls. That's not bad. Oh, that's a shame. The handle broke on this little pitcher or creamer. Oh, all of that work. That is really a shame. We are down the basket aisle. It's like a little charger made out of bamboo, $1.99. It's a big woven basket in like a peach and green color with a real leather handle. That's very interesting. I guess this is for the beach. $15.99 green tag. So that would be half price, $8. I just sold one of these in the booth. What would I get for this? I think it's almost overly big. Might be a mistake, but I'm gonna put this back. I think it's too big. All right, let's stick that back up on the shelf and keep going. What is this basket down here? Okay, kind of has an oriental design to it and look to it. Not in love with it. Zeroing in on this big piece. <laughs> what does that say? $12.99, right? Wow. Oh, somebody made it? That is very impressive. Now, you can cook in this, right? I'm taking it. It is meant for cooking. Yeah, that is just artist done. Unless they get the pieces and the person putting their name in. No, that can't be. I was going to say he's just glazing it, but the pottery was wet when they put their name in there. So this person threw this pot. That is just amazing. I don't know if I can lift this with one hand. I'm going to lift it. Oh, I think I have it. Oh, that's heavy. Just want to be careful with it as not to break it. Wow. I'm going to move some of these lovely teacups out of the way so we can look at our piece of pottery. Boy, that is quite heavy. I don't know what you'd even cook in there. Baked beans? Maybe? I don't know. 
I think I'm going to leave this for somebody else. I'm going to put it back on the top shelf. All right, I am all for eating big amounts of pasta, but <laughs> look at my hand compared to this pasta dish. That is nuts, and they're $9.99. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it'd be great for an outdoor wedding in a garden with big salads or big, you know, linguine, but yeah, those are huge. $9.99, here's some more up here. I wonder what store they came from. I almost thought this was like a Williams Sonoma or something like that. Up oh, there's the tag. There's the tag. Can I read it? All right, the tag says tag. <laughs> I guess there's a store called Tag that I haven't heard about yet. Okay, this is catching my eye. I guess it's just a little tidbit dish, maybe. I don't know that it's, you know, high quality, but I have not seen that pattern before. So that's very cool, $3.99. Leave a comment down below if it's not a tidbit dish. I think it is. Could it be a candle holder? I don't think so. All right, we're gonna put that one back. Pulling for America. Hmm, doesn't really look all that. Oh, who's making it? <laughs> Golden Valley, Minnesota. Toy Star. Can, can we retire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is all all that, this and that. It's a bank. It's cute. It's all you. <laughs> no money in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this little, little tiny plant stand. Okay, that's sweet. That could be a fun table for an American Girl doll. It's probably what you were thinking, right? <laughs> What'd you find? Mm, oh, is it signed? There's a signature on it. Who is that? Yeah. Marge. <laughs> May. No <laughs> so with an idea. M. Louisville. Is that how we say it, or do we say Louisville? No, Lou. Louisville, right? Louisville. That's yeah. how I say it. Yeah. Right? Looks, Look at the stitching. Nice that is a pretty nice glove. Three ninety nine. How many did you find? Oh, you got another one in there. Another You've catcher's, been picking up. Catcher's mitt. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Are you impressed? That's a good brand. <laughs> Are you impressed? Let's impressed. try that again. <laughs> Three ninety nine for that. That's a really good price. Yeah, that is for good. That's Mizuma. Mitt. Yeah. How do I say that? Mizuno. 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 Okay, it's not it's not a large, it's a medium. And they're, you know, right hand for the right hand, which is unusual. Right, you told us that yeah, two videos yeah. ago. I remember that though yeah, for a left hand all, throw. These are all a little all. bit harder. Yep. Less are, of the made. Every, all three of these are that. Oh, you think it's the same guy or girl that mm -hmm. donated all three? Not sure. But definitely a signature of something. Okay, left hand throws. To find out who that is, almost yeah. impossible. Okay, this is all very interesting, but look at this artwork. <laughs> look at that frame. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That wasn't here two minutes ago. I That's went through really all of nice this. Frame. That is a nice frame. I'm not loving the artwork, but the frame is beautiful. Okay, what does the back look like? More contemporary. Not especially old. I'm gonna guess this is maybe eighties. Some some galleries, that's heavy. Yeah, the glass looks weighty. The matting. Okay, but would somebody want a woman's hat thrown on a stone with some flowers falling out of it? Maybe. You like that picture. I it's a lot of work. A lot of uh... Yeah, but it's half price. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just got better. Just got 50% better. Yeah, that's for sure. yeah, they're There's hunting, right? Like yeah, I liked that one too. But there we are with the blue and burgundy matting. The matting, to me, picture that with a different frame and like a white matting. That would be gorgeous. Should we just buy all the artwork, become art dealers? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I have to say I've met four or five people in the thrift store today. Everybody is so wonderful. You guys are just amazing. I love meeting you guys. I know I always say that, but it's true. When I'm in the thrift store and everybody comes up to me and talks to me, 
makes all the work feel worth it that I can connect to real people who are just so sweet. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. All right. I've totally lost my husband. I don't know where he went off to. Um, and he took the cart with him. <laughs> this is a snake tie. Wow. Okay. Seems like silk. I used to buy quite a few ties and it's too time consuming. There's like a thousand ties in every thrift store. Belts are good though. So we do a quick, a quick scan of belts. A lot of these do not feel like leather. Some Michael Kors, kind of nice, not genuine leather. Oh, it's reversible. That's nice. Now that probably would sell the Michael Kors, maybe. Okay, genuine leather. Oh, oh, hold the phone. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren. Let's scoot this one out. See that? I found that just by feeling it. I'm going to hang it though, if I can figure out which one has enough room for me to hang here. So we can check the business end of the belt. Nice condition. Okay, last thing to check is the price. And let's see what they're getting for this Ralph Lauren belt. If this tag will flip around, $2.99. That's a keeper. Beautiful. All right, do we see any others? When all else fails, there's belts. Okay. So I check belts every store. I always tell you guys that. Once in a great while I'll forget, but almost always I do look at belts because they're very easy to ship and usually the buy-in price is good for the profit you can make. So if you're looking to just get into the reselling business, go for jewelry, belts, what else? What else is very light? Ties are good, but there's more bad ties than good ties. I had to look through a lot of ties to get good ones. Good meaning, you know, that would sell for $30 or more. All right, very happy with my Ralph Lauren belt. We have scarves and wraps and shawls and my eye is looking to spot silk or something very unusual. I love a good silk scarf. I always tell the story of when I went to uh, my town wide yard sale and I happened on a house selling a bunch of stuff and I think the woman of the house, the lady of the house had gone inside and the husband was in the garage and they had a large wicker basket of silk scarves and I asked him how much he wanted for them and he said, I think my wife is asking 25 cents, let me check with her and she said, oh yeah, sure. I made over a thousand dollars on those silk scarves. Just crazy. So silk scarves are a really good thing to learn. This little resin trinket box. I believe you keep your rosary in. Oh. <laughs> Why am I such a sucker for this stuff? Oh my gosh. Oh. I have never seen this little couple. There Roger and I are. My little black and white skirt and him with his little vest. That is so funny. And a chicken, because you know, who doesn't love a good chicken? Do we love a good chicken? Yes, we do. Do we love a good chicken? Oh, I was thinking that the other day when I saw a rooster that had a chick off of it. Do we love a good rooster? Rooster? Yes, we do. That is great. A subscriber one aisle over answered. You gotta love that. Okay, this is origami. Look at that with a little a little bird flying in it. Somebody made that. That is just amazing. $9.99. This might be upside down. Everything's just upside down lately. My world is upside down. Okay, I see a heart dish in here. Pink heart dish. Ooh, that's quite pretty. Oh, $4.99, green tag. This is still green week, right? <laughs> it is. How much is, oh, department 56, 250. That's gonna be a yes. That's beautiful. I don't know if I'll put that on eBay or just put it in the booth. I do try to have a few small things in the booth because I realize not everybody wants large things, but the whole premise of having a booth for Roger and I is a place to put our uh, larger items. So yeah, how's that working out? I think the smaller stuff sells better. All right, so we're popping back into Goodwill just to wash our hands because we were just digging a little bit in the bin and Ron just said, I need to wash my hands. You want to wash your hands? We already did this store. Coming back into the store. Look, look at this dress. A double ruffle pleated collar. This is everything. 
Victor Costa. Unfortunately, it looks like the size tag might have been cut. This looks cut up here, but I still think I can sell it. This is $15. Oh, is it a stain? Little bit of staining. I think I can work with that. This thing is stunning. Stunning. I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to work on the stains. I cannot let this one go. It's tiny, but that is just beautiful. I'll probably have it for a while, but this is an absolute, yes, vintage Victor Costa. We are now at 2A Thrift. Today is purple tag. We just got the word, so that is great. I do like this store. They usually have good hard goods and at a decent price, usually. Look at this stuff over here. A floral something. I don't even know how to say that. Reliquary. <laughs> Pretty. That's a glass, glass covering. I thought it was plexiglass. Oh, this is very sad. What happened here? Did she break up with him? Oh no. It's a mirror, $7.99. See, now because it came from Goodwill, where it was 50% off green, I'm like, oh, it's green tag. I'm like, Karen, that's the wrong store. <laughs> hmm. This does look like it has some age to it. That's interesting. It's very sad. And the mirror does have a little bit of silver loss. I think that's either Pride and Prejudice or what's the other one? Pride or Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility. I'm not sure. All right, so 2A or 2nd Avenue, as it's known, has a very good linen section. I'm going to take a look at linens. This is a hand knotted comforter, very bulky and big. Ooh, that is a nice pattern that almost looks like vintage Ralph Lauren, but I don't think it is. This would have to be sold on Facebook Marketplace because there's no way to pack this down, even if you put it in one of those vacuum bags. I'm not seeing a tag on it. I'm going to keep going. Oh, again, it's looking like Ralph Lauren. I don't think this is, though. I think this is Chaps. Boy, that is a nice pattern. I love this reverse to like a tweed look. It's not tweed, but that plaid, that is beautiful. Oh, here we are, vintage chaps. <laughs> I have lived in the linen section too long. That is beautiful. Now something like this, you have to have a big machine to wash these. Some people steam them, um, you know, just to get it where it's sanitized. Is this a toaster cozy? Is that even such a thing? Or a hat? <laughs> is it a toaster cozy or a hat? There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Okay, most of this is Rogers. Yeah, pretty much most of it. I have these sneakers in the cart, $18. I wish they were my size, but I might try them on anyway. All of this is yours. Yeah. How'd you do today? I got I got some good things. You're gonna show us I some of your so. stuff? Do a clothing haul right yeah. in the store? Nike. You know who that is? Yes, I do. Kylie Jenner. Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Remember Irving. KI? You can tell me this obviously Kyrie, ten times over. Kyrie I'm always Irving. gonna forget. It's a row. Row back. I row guess. back. Do you want to give out that secret? Yeah. You're never going to find one again, uh, no. guys. You want to look for this. These are really good. Yeah. How much would you up. expect to get for this shirt? Uh, I got a. It's got a few spots. It's I got toothpaste on it. You could tell it's toothpaste. Uh, it'll bring probably seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars, guys. You want to remember that name? Six twenty-nine. Some of these new. They're one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty. That's crazy. Yeah, row that is crazy. Really, really What's your white one? It's a little. Some of them don't have this, but I think it's better with the... With the dog logo? Yeah. Okay. The white one is uh, Peter Millar. That's nice. Peter Millar Seaside. Yeah, we love Peter Millar. I gotta look that up. I'm not sure what golf course that is. Okay. But it's still really nice. That's in great shape. White. Yeah. That looks, uh, dare I say it, new without tags. Yeah. 
Oh, this is, this is nice. New with tags. PX. Oh, look at those tags. PXG. The hoodies aren't quite as good. But what size is this? If See, you, if you ever find this in women's, this exact one, yeah, I want it. I'll pay you, you for it. <laughs> if you get PX, the PXG polo, golf polos, yeah. you'll they're probably at least $95 and up. And what will this hoodie go for too. being new, do you think? I know, it was it was 125 Yeah, I would charge 90 for that. Oh, or man. I'd put it on auction and Hoodies start don't it. don't do quite as well, but... Yeah. Yeah, PXG, the, That's gorgeous. the golf polos are... You got some really nice stuff. Mm, some eagles. We're tired couple, of eagles. We don't want to see any more eagles. eagles. What else did I get? What's Tommy the orange Bahama. shirt? Tommy Bahama. This one's nice. The trefoil I like that. Six twenty-nine. Okay, so this one's called trefoil or trefoil. Yeah. What's the other one called? The mountain. One's the mountain. Yeah. Seven, Adidas one's... has different logos this over nice. the years. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, if you find a women's one of these, oh, look at it. Turn it around. <laughs> yeah, look, it goes the to the back. It's got a string pull. I could fix that for you where it's missing. Yeah. Both Six twenty-nine. All right, we are at store number four today. This is Liberty Ministries Thrift. For some reason, I keep calling it Freedom Thrift. So they're gonna have to rename themselves. <laughs> and today is 50 off store-wide yellow tag items. All right, let's grab a cart. What size cart do we want? I think we want a red cart, not a big cart and not a little cart, a medium cart. You gotta love a store that gives you choices. And of course, Roger's not getting a cart. <laughs> okay, this store has furniture, which is always dangerous because, yeah, I just love furniture. Furniture and artwork and all the big things. Look at this secretary. Barley twist legs. <gasps> Look how fun this is. This is very cool. I don't know how this opens. Ah, that's really sweet. How much do they want for this? Two twenty-five. Okay, I feel better about not getting it. <laughs> Which is fair. That's a fair price. And let me just say that all the proceeds from this store um, go to help the people that have been incarcerated and now they are being, you know, integrated back into a civilian life. So really helps them. And I love that purpose. So definitely not going to balk at the prices here. It looks like this store is well stocked. Why don't I ever start thrifting in little figurines? Why do I go for the big stuff? 149. <sighs> those are something, I don't think those are the original shades. There's that first statement, a proclamation. I think the original shades were probably bigger and had fringe and were very fancy. Those are too plain, I think, and they're modern. All right, onward. Ah, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so a lot of artwork. We're gonna go through some of it. I'm very sorry if you guys don't like artwork. I love artwork, but I will bring you down the glass aisle and the figurine aisle and all the regular aisles. Let's see if I can, oh, Claude Monet. That's a pretty one. I am looking for original artwork. Um, what else? Yeah, pretty much original is my favorite. Oh dear, what have we got here? That is Harold Larson, Sun Country Canyon. Okay, it's a print, thank goodness. I'm looking for very small artwork that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> All right, we do not need a couch, so that's good. There are lamps. I'm trying to think out of all the lamps that I've bought, I've sold, um, you know, kind of chandeliers the most. What else? Mid-century modern and mid-century modern style, you know, that were newer. Those always go very quickly. In fact, the last lamps that I sold in the vintage booth were mid-century modern uh, style. So don't be afraid to pick those up if you have a booth because not everybody can find mid-century modern lamps, so they will use a more modern lamp that has the style of mid-century modern. All right, boy, the store is hopping today. 
What aisle shall we go down? That's electronics. We don't want that aisle. Wow. Okay, I am all over the place. I don't even know which way to look. There's a lot of artwork. And you know, like I said last night, I went to Hobby Lobby just to pick up a few prints for the house. And um, they were fairly reasonable, but the quality and the new stuff, oh, didn't we just see that? That's a much better one. That's the same picture that we saw in the other store. This one's under glass. That's beautiful. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the quality of the vintage stuff is so much better, which is no surprise. No surprise there. I do like that Renoir. That is beautiful. All right, let's see what else we have here. All right, so, oh, uh, uh-oh. I really like that. <laughs> of course, it's the biggest one. Okay, that's gorgeous. Where's my husband? What's the price on this one? Oh dear, $24.99. Okay, don't like the matting, but I love the picture. Oh, I think I have to get that. Oh dear. <laughs> Why didn't I take the big cart? I've got the medium cart. I should have known better. All right, we're gonna pull this one out because I think I want that for the dining room. That is just stunning. All right, where are you guys when I need a second hand to help lift? Where are my followers? I have met so many of you guys today. I'm going to say I probably met 10 new followers. I mean, they've been following me for a long time, but I've never met them before. All right. Oh my word. This thing weighs like 50 pounds. Oh, be still my heart. That is just stunningly beautiful. It's a print, it's not original, but I don't even care. And I will pay to get this rematted and reframed. I love it that much. I am so happy right now. This is exactly what I love looking at. Like a little bit of heaven on earth. I will show you when we get at home what it looks like hanging in the dining room. We're gonna need some strong wire to hang this. Do you wanna see it one more time? Look how good it is. Oh gosh, this is my lucky day. This is better than any thrift thing to flip could have been. When you find something, because I've been looking for artwork for like nine months now, since we got married to hang in the house. I didn't want to rush it when we did the renovation. So our walls have been bare for a long time. And um, like I said, last night I went out and got a few things. I'll show you those when we get those put up. Oh, this is lovely. I think I'm born in the wrong century how pretty that is. Why don't these things sell? There is the seal. Okay, this is Noritake, hand-painted Japan. Wow, that is just beautiful. Oh, who is he? <laughs> That's a shame. This would have been good. This is cracked. Oh, I think this really would have done well. Is that a bottle? It almost seems like it would have been a bottle. I don't know what. Oh, he's a lamp? Wait, what? What is happening here? I love the attitude. <laughs> oh, that's a shame that he has chippage and his neck has a crack. Look at that shirt. Is he a matador? I'm not sure what's going on here. I think he's from Spain. Oh, here's a marking. Glasses on. Okay, we're getting the glasses out. If he's a lamp, where did he light up? Okay, what does that say? Wow, that's bad. When you put your glasses on, you still can't read it. Something China. I'm going to have to take a picture and blow it up. USA. Look at that. I think this would sell really well if this was in good shape. I'm going to have to do a Google image of him stunning all right guys i think that's it for us today hit that like and subscribe button and as always 
go out and get what's yours. All right, so here is the art print that I picked up at Hobby Lobby the other night. This was the night before we went to the thrift. So yesterday was Thursday, Wednesday night. I went to Hobby Lobby because Lisa had told me that they had some pretty landscape prints and she knew I was looking for a landscape. I did wind up grabbing this one at 40% off. It cost me $54 and I think it looks really nice in the room. So there's no glass over it, and it's just a computer-generated um, image, but I really like this. I thought the colors worked great, and the original price was $90, so I paid $54, which is double the price of what I got uh, the print for at the thrift store yesterday, which I'm excited to show you in the dining room. All right, let's turn around. I hope I'm not making you dizzy and walk this way. I also picked up a few pieces for the hallway. This we kind of call the laundry center because my laundry is behind the barn doors. And I picked up these prints, again, inexpensive prints, but they just add a little pop of color. I grabbed some faux greenery and this little basket and I thought that looked really sweet. And turning around, this is my office. Again, Hobby Lobby, I picked up this horse print and I thought that went really nice in the room. I love scenes like this. Now, I've never owned a horse. I don't even know. I've probably ridden a horse twice in my life, but I thought that was really nice. And again, this one was 50% off. I think I got this one for $30. So um, I thought that was great. But now I'm going to show you where the print that I picked up at Liberty Thrift hangs. And I was so excited to see it hanging above the dining room table. Okay, so here is the picture that I found in Liberty Thrift. Look how gorgeous this is. I fell in love with this thing. You guys saw it right on film. I was like, ah, oh, I love that. And I have been looking for a piece of artwork for this dining room, I think since I've moved in eight years ago. And when I saw this, I knew this was it. $25. You gotta love thrifting, not only for resale, but for decorating your own house. And sometimes it takes a lot of time to find something this good. I think the resale value on this would probably be between $500 and $700, but I am definitely keeping this. We are keeping this one in the dining room. Both Roger and I I love this. This is Albert Beerstead, 1863, among Sierra Nevada mountains. And I don't know that I've ever seen this artwork. I don't remember ever seeing this in an art book or anywhere. And I saw it and I was just like, oh my gosh, super heavy. And I thought I was going to have to change out like the matting or the, or the wood trim, the um, frame, because I thought it might look too oak. I don't know what to call it, what else to call it, but it, it goes perfect with the dining room. So I am super grateful to have found this. And I wanted to show you the end of the story that it is going to hang in our dining room. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Bye.